Friday, November 17th, 4.18 p.m. New York time. The U.S. stock market's close. We just finished another week. We're also passing the halfway point in the month. Yep, the month of November is already half over. Next week is a short week because of the U.S. holiday. That means Thursday, U.S. markets close. Again, you expect light activity the Wednesday before and light activity the day after, which is Friday. Light activity could easily have manipulation in the market. Short term. But let's look at this week that just completed. On the Dow Jones Industrial Average Stock Index, one of the oldest U.S. stock indexes, has 30 companies listed on it, the 30 largest publicly traded companies in the United States. This is the chart, a one-year chart, each candle of the week. And I try and hope I'm being clear on my video content on the financial markets. with sharing what I think is occurring from my ability in research and analyze death of the markets and more. Got it? Being upfront about making my best educated guess. That's what I'm showing you here in my charts. Leaving out my bias opinion. Straight to the charts, price action. So for the one-year chart here, the yellow horizontal line on the top is the high of the year right there. And the yellow horizontal line on the bottom of the year, here. Facts. Low, high. The current trend is trending up. The momentum is to the upside. For the week, we closed green. We made a higher high and a higher low than last week. Got it. So we're inside this huge consolidation. And we know in the past, there were sellers up here. So the momentum may start selling, seeing potential resistance up here. It could bring the trend to acceleration like this or smaller candles going to the upside. But let's go include the Dow 30 stocks one by one, alphabetic order, see which one's performing better than the Dow Jones index. First, Apple, green, higher, high, higher, low. Nice, same momentum as the Dow. Also here is a swing high, just like here, a swing high. Very close to the highs of the year. Next, Amgen, Alpha, Mike, Goff, November. Yellow candle. That means the price not go above or below the prior candle. That's an inside candle. Think about that. That means the market was undecided what it wanted to do for that week to be a bear or bull above or below the prior week. But huge wick on the top, small little body down there, very suspicious. A lot of selling activity. Yeah. It's the low of the year, it's the high of the year. So right off the bat, the index is performing better than that stock. American Express, Alpha, X-Ray, Pop, Pop. Green for the week, higher, high, higher, low. I need to update this also. There's the low of the year I made. So like that. There we go, low of the year, high of the year. That was American Express. Boeing, green for the week, higher, high, higher, low, gapped up, gapped up big there. Yeah, making a big reversal. Caterpillar, Charlie Alpha, Tango, green for the week, higher, high, higher, low, nice, broke above that, inside candle, strong candle, big, almost solid body, very strong. Momentum, look at here. Potential target area right here, midpoint, that big candle, potential area for a reversal trade if it has that occurring here. So notice here, huge volume right there. Big dump that went down there, wash out and reverse. Charlie Romeo, Mike, Salesforce, green for the week, higher, high, higher, low. Overall, huge consolidation here, but buyers bringing it up. Potential supply area right up here, 225. Cisco, wow. Huge red candle for the week. Lower high, lower low. Huge dump. Huge volume. Panic selling. Yep. Panic selling. Maybe a bullish opportunity to do bull put spreads right down here. Remember, as Cisco is in the NASDAQ 100, as well as this Dow index, as well as the SP 500. Huge weighted average stock. 
Big dump. Chevron, Charlie, Victor, X-Ray. Let's cue this in by drawing this. There we go. New low for the year. Also fill that gap all the way from back there. Let's zoom out. See what it looks like. Yep, that was a gap last year, right here. Gapped up. And we fill that gap. So now we remove that. Not a point anymore. That was a swing low. Let's see how it looks. Nice. That was a swing low. It's in there right now. A so potential buying opportunity. If there's a trigger on the candle and more the wiser, we'll put spreads down here. It would be better. That's Chevron. Disney, Delta, India, Sierra. Huge green candle for the week. Higher, high, higher, low. Nice reversal. Coming up to a prior panic area at midpoint. Dow Chemical, Delta, Oscar, Whiskey. Huge green candle. Nice off the lows. Again, coming up to that midpoint. So again, see several candles had these huge panic ceilings. This big red candle. And that's where we're going back into retracement. Potential sellers again. Use caution. Goldman Sachs, up strong, nice. Home Depot, another one up strong, big green candle, almost solid body, very big trading range. Higher high, higher low. Broke above here, reversal. And if you saw the economic news today, building permits, public information is for free. US government released that data. Building permits were increased higher than expected. That's positive for construction, real estate, development. Yep, has a lot of positive news. So again, higher interest rates, higher mortgage payments. Again, building permits have still gone higher. A lot of cash out there. People loaning money, as well as people qualifying for that loan money. It does take money to have those permits. Hotel Oscar November, green for the week, higher, high, high, low. IBM, new high for the year. And did we take out the high of last year? We took out the high of last year, outstanding. That is IBM, outstanding. So that was the yellow horizontal line there. High of last year, we took it out. And new high for this year, let's move it up. Strong like bull, doing better. Then Cisco, IBM, big blue, old school. Wow. Intel, India, November, Tango, Charlie, also new high for the year. Took out that swing high. Here's the swing high. Like I said, these things like to get retested. Broke above it, but strong. I'll stay and let's move this up. Technology sector, nice. Repeated, mentioned that often, strong like bull. A midpoint right there, blew right through that. So let's see this midpoint, how far back it goes. Last year, right there, that was a panic selling right here. Wow, huge panic selling. And look at that, staircase pattern higher high. So now we can re update this. Very nice. Let's extend that out again. There we go. That was Intel. It was that big candle for a week. Very big body. I like to do this. Maybe the midpoint. Midpoint is just the middle of the candle. On a higher time frames such as this, it's important. I showed you several charts, how things like that got retested. And some of them reversed. Some of the target areas. Good point. This one's for the weekly. Then you, Johnson & Johnson. Oof, look at that, huge consolidation, inside candle. Near the bottom of the year, not looking good. JP Morgan, outstanding. Another financial strong. Coca-Cola, 
green for the week, higher, high, higher, low, grinding up slowly. McDonald's up strong. A lot of stocks strong, up strong this past week. That's good. 3M up green also. Merck, nope. It's green, but made a lower, low, lower high. Huge consolidation area. It's struggling. Yeah. Microsoft, new high for the year. Outstanding. Nike, back here. I get the zone again. I mentioned that several times. There's pin bar up there. Woof, that looks so bad. Yep. Procter Gamble, okay, red, higher, high, higher, low, but bearish pin bar, very suspicious. Might have a dump here. Another financial travelers, green, nice. Big wick on the bottom, rejected down there, bulls. Uniform, November Hotel, huge consolidation up to the highs of the year. Visa, very close to the highs of the year, nice. A lot of the financials very strong this week. And Verizon, green for the week, higher, high, higher, low. Whiskey Bravo Alpha, new low for the year. Not good. Nope. Let's take this back for three years. Just see how that looks. Really bad. Wow. This is Walgreens. Look at that. Took out all those lows of the prior years. Really problems here. I think I want to go back a little more. Max, let's just see something. Yep. So as the stock declines in value, and if the market cap of it falls below a certain level, it would get removed from the Dow 30 and another company would place it. It would get removed to a smaller index. Another one replace it. I wonder what they're considering to replace it with. Let's go to Walmart. Walmart, wow, huge dump. Okay, red for the week. Made a new high for the year, reverse and dumped. Huge volume, panic selling. Wow. Yep, there's a low for the year, there's a high for the year. Let us look at something just to compare with the prior year, prior three years. Okay, so Walmart did take out the high of last year, took out the year prior year. Still up strong, but this is very concerning. Look at that big dump. Might be a buying opportunity there. Let's see about that come Monday. That's it. The Dow 30 stocks, after the quarter, we just saw several of them made new highs for the year, several made new lows for the year, but we know where the leadership is technology and the banks were looking really good there. That's it. Thanks you for spending just a little bit of your time with me. Thanks for watching.